Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Um, just a slightly different one from usual. Uh, but the Institute of Government, which is a little think tank, uh, has come up and done some interesting analysis and showed that whoever wins the Tory leadership contest um, is going to have a very limited gene pool when it comes to picking talent and experience for the shadow cabinet. Obviously, the last election, so many Tories lost, eight, uh, lost their seats and so many, of course, quit before the election. Um, so an awful lot of experience and knowledge and talent had gone. Um, and so whoever wins, and let's face it, it's not going to be Pretty Patel, who's the only one of those on that list, I think, that actually held one of the senior positions. Uh, but other than her, there's so few that have actually held ministerial positions. Less than half the current shadow cabinet have ever been ministers. And apparently it's they've done the numbers and it's the lowest level of experience of any Tory cabinet or shadow cabinet for over 50 years since Ted Heath came to power the first time back in, oh, 71, 72, whenever it was. Um, but that's it. It's amazing, isn't it? 50 odd years and this is as low as you get, all because of the massive, massive defeat. They better buck their ideas up. There could be an election soon, the way it's going. Don't think it's going to last five years. They need to pick it up, run with it and get some experience and learn what they're doing. Otherwise, you're going to have the bad government followed by a useless government. I think useless is better than bad, isn't it? It's got to be. Even a useless government have got to get something right by accident. Any old hope. Thanks very much. Take care. Goodbye.